Hey guys, I am back. Um, my shirt looks crazy because I'm about to show you guys what I do before the gym. But my waist trainer finally came in. If you want to know um, where I got it from, put it in the comment section below and then I'll add it to the description box. But here is my waist trainer. It was $12. $12, honey. And it is in good, like, good shape like it's not thin it's a really really good waist trainer so basically what i do i'm about to go to the gym right now so i decided to record um i what i do first is i take the skin firming and toning lotion i talked about this in like my very very beginning stages when i was um i think it was even before my well, like a little bit after my surgery um so this stuff is the same bottle from the beginning of my surgery and that's because I wasn't consistent with it so I don't I just have a lot left so I'm gonna start using this and so the first thing that I do is just take like a quarter size amount and <laughs> I put it in my stomach and the only what's significant about doing this part is um you don't want to have the well first of all it's it's toning lotion so you know that like it helps tone your skin it helps get the elasticity back and all that stuff but then on top of that um you don't want to waist train with your stomach dry because if it's dry this stuff is so greasy because if it's dry um you can get like chafing and stuff like that and that's not a good thing so uh, anyways after um i put that on um some people they put it like they put it around their back and hips and all that stuff. I just put it on my stomach. You probably should put it on your back and all that, but I don't want to do that on this video. <laughs> so, um, y'all know how to put a waist trainer on, I'm sure, but I'm just going to show you what I do. I ordered a medium because it was in, um, like Chinese sizes and I feel like I should have ordered a small because I can fit the medium to the second loop already and when you first buy a waist trainer you should start with the first hook but like the first hook was too loose for me so i should have got a small but i got a medium and so i just put the waist trainer on starting at the second row since i can fit it to the second row and i just work my way up trainer is awesome first of all I just can't believe I only paid $12 for this like it is so woo, honey but um it's really it's really tight it's really con conforming to my body um it goes all the way up in the back I don't know if you guys can see but it goes all the way up in the back so it gets like your love handles and all that and presses back here um it's an awesome waist trainer $12 like this is amazing so yeah that's that um and then I'm gonna do another clip about like some other updates but I did just want to show you guys this I got my little hourglass shape going on with my waist trainer I love this waist trainer it makes me feel so good like it makes me feel like secure and like you know I can like do a backflip in this but and it helps with posture and everything like it covers your whole torso I love it but that's that and I will come to you guys in the next clip about some other updates Bye. hey guys I'm back and I'm just going to give you an update on what all happened pretty much so um I want to start off by saying my apple cider vinegar challenge was a fail and it was not because of the apple cider vinegar itself. It was because of my own sabotage. Um, basically, this is my story. Um, I started off strong. I was taking the apple cider vinegar every morning, every night. Every morning, every night. I did this conse consecutively for seven days. On the seventh day, I weighed myself and I had lost nine pounds that one week. Nine pounds. And I was like, wow, like I lost nine pounds. I wasn't trying to lose weight, but I did end up losing nine pounds. 
So I think when I started this, I was 136. And so um, when I lost the nine pounds, I got down to like 128-ish, 127, I think. So um, yeah, 120, I think it was 128. That's how much I weighed. Um, so yeah, I was happy about that. And um, the second week, I ended up going to my, my doctor for like a regular checkup and they had me do blood work. And my blood work came back that I was severely anemic. And I've been anemic my entire life, but I've never really gotten it, you know, really checked into. I've always knew that I had low, low iron. I just didn't know that it was that severe. I ended up finding out that I was um, so so anemic to the point where they had to hospitalize me that day. So I was hospitalized. I was given iron infusions for 48 hours um, in the hospital. And then I got out the hospital and... Um, it, I still, it still took like a day or two for me to kind of, for it to like work, for the iron infusions to work. So four days, I didn't take any apple cider vinegar at all. Um, two of the days I was eating at the hospital, but I had people like come and bring me food that was not good for me. Like chicken, uh, not chicken, chicken, like um, fries and baked macaroni. Oh my gosh, like baked macaroni was like my, my thing during that time. Um, a bunch of pasta, uh, a whole bunch of stuff that I just shouldn't be eating, like fried foods and a bunch of carbs. I wasn't eating any fruit but watermelon. Like that was the only fruit I was eating. And that was only because like I was craving watermelon, but I was eating a bunch of like chocolate chip cookies, brownies. Like I was just, my eating habits just totally took a turn for the worse. And I'm watching myself like doing it and didn't even care. Like I was like, whatever. Like I didn't care. I, I don't know what was wrong with me. I had, I was not, I had no thought process of what I was doing. I don't know why I did that, but that's what I did. I'm telling y'all the raw truth. And, um, so after that third week, was that the, no, that's the second week. After that second week, um, I ended up gaining seven of those nine pounds back. And so, um, after the, after that week, I, I was like, okay, well maybe I should cut out sugar. So I, I started cutting out sugar that Saturday and Sunday and then my period came <laughs> so then you know a female if you're a female watching this you know how it is like during that time you're not trying to like eat healthy like I now I really want some chocolate and candy and cookies and stuff like that like now I really want that stuff so then I had some leftover like rice krispies and brownies and stuff I was just I started eating it all over again so the result of that was I ended up going from 127 or 128 to 146. <laughs> I know you guys are like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I went from 128 to 146 and I was like, are you kidding me? Like. I couldn't believe my own myself because I'm like, I just let myself go. Like, what the heck? So um, I'm back on track now. Um, I do now have energy because I have the iron infusions and stuff. I've had them. So they've definitely given me a bunch more energy. That was another reason why I had not been exercising either because I had no energy to exercise before I got the iron infusions. But now that I have them, I literally exercise like twice a day, um, once in the morning at home and then after I leave work. Um, well, I have two jobs. I'm a teacher. I'm a third grade teacher and I'm a, um, I'm an accountant as well for a bank. So, um, basically when I get, when, before my teaching job, I, I wake up and I exercise for 30 minutes. And then after my teaching job and in between my accountant job, I have about like four or five hours. I'll go to the gym and work out for another hour. So I've been doing that consecutively for the past three days three days because I, I'm just now getting back on the kick. But um, basically, the point of me telling you guys all this was that the apple cider vinegar does work. I lost nine pounds the first week. It does work if you're consistent. I was not consistent, so I didn't, it didn't work that much for me. Um, it didn't work that much for me after I, you know, after I fell off, you know, so I shouldn't say it didn't work. It did. It works. It worked. But I feel like I could have lost so much more and I could have lost a little bit more of my stomach had I been consistent. And so another thing I wanted to talk about was lemon water. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do drink lemon water every single day um, during that 
week and a half, I wasn't drinking lemon water. I was drinking like cranberry juice. Um, nothing too bad. Cranberry juice and apple juice are the two my two go to juices, and I don't drink pop at all. So, um, at least at least that's one thing that I do <laughs> right. But um, I drink lemon water every single day. Um, the benefits of lemon water it just helps cleanse your system. Same thing with the apple cider vinegar. It um, it uh like kills the not kills but um kind of breaks down the enzymes in your stomach that um that cause belly fat and causes you to lose weight I mean to gain weight I'm sorry I'm tripping over my words today and then um, another thing I wanted to talk about was drinking with a straw I was like looking up um, apple cider vinegar challenges and they were saying you should you should drink it with a straw the lemon water and the apple cider vinegar with, with a straw because I guess the apple cider vinegar or the lemon juice, the acidity from both of those um, those things are damaging to your enamel on your teeth. And I didn't know that. So I found that out and I have, um, since then, I still take my shot in the morning because, I mean, it doesn't really touch my teeth. It goes, you know, right down. Um, but when I'm drinking my lemon water, I always have a straw now because... It damages your enamel, apparently. And then I also wanted to say that with the apple cider vinegar and baking soda, I mix that with apple juice now, too. So sometimes I use apple juice and sometimes I use cranberry juice, but it just depends. Um, so recently, what I've been doing is um, I just started back on apple cider vinegar. So I just started drinking a shot in the morning, a shot at night. Um, I'm back in the gym again. <laughs> You guys probably like, oh girl, here you go again. But yeah, I'm back in the gym again and I'm 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 trying again. But this was a fail. It was a fail for me. Um, like I, in the midst of all this, like it was just a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. On top of that, I'm sick. If you can hear, I'm still sick. I've literally been sick almost an entire month. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. I've had this cold and then I got over the cold and I got a flu. I had the flu. Then I got over the flu and then I had strep throat. I literally have been going through the motions since my last video. So, um, I only wore my waist trainer twice. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in this video. I only wore it two times. That was the two times I went to the gym prior to me being hospitalized. Um, and so I can't say that that contributed to my, um, my stomach being flat because technically I didn't really use it that much yet like I'm gonna be using it but I haven't used it that consistently to say that I my stomach is flatter because of that anyways I am going to insert insert pictures at the end of this video showing you guys my before and after because actually you can see there's a huge difference in my stomach um <laughs> huge difference in my stomach just from me being consistent that first week So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure that you put those in the descript in the comments section below. Um, and if you like my videos, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. And I think my next video, my next videos, I think are going to be some vlogs. I'm I'm trying to hold myself accountable for what I eat, what I drink, and stuff like that. So what I've decided that I might do is like seven days of vlogging myself, what I eat what I, um, and then like the apple cider vinegar and then what I'm doing as far as my exercise routine. So if you actually, actually, if you are interested in seeing that type of video, please put that in the comment section below because that'll be like my motivation to actually do it. Um, I'm going to do it regardless, but it'll be my motivation to actually like record it and hold myself accountable for it. That's the important thing. But anyways, I'm going to go cause I'm so sick right now. I just wanted to come to you guys because it's almost been an entire month since I posted my, my first video. So I know that you guys have been, you have been waiting on this, um, update. And so here it is. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great week and then I'll see you on my next video. Bye.